guys, welcome back to more Blood and Rose. Um, in the last episode, we became Daniel's maid. Or, we didn't become, but we were told that we were going to be Daniel's personal maid. And so, starting from this episode, I guess we're his maid now. So, uh, let's continue. Daniel, Chapter 2, Main Story. I live in a hotel ran by vampires in their castle, and I work as a personal maid. I thought my reality would have changed after a night's rest, but a girl can only dream. The next night is exactly the same, too. Uh, nothing's changed. And what should I do? Just be polite. If you mess up, you'll be the you'll be the wolf's dinner. Oh, that's all. That's all. Did you not hear what I said? That's all. Uh, could you please explain a little more, especially what it is I should do? Ugh. Okay, I'll figure it out myself. Jeez. Alfred glares at me and walks down to the end of the hallway and just, like, kind of stands there. All weird. Let's do this. Okay, I can't believe... I can't become the wolf's dinner. What is this on the ground? Oh, it's a, it's a business. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's a business card that I use as a that's a bookmark and I was playing with it with my toes. Anyways, uh, I started work today as Daniel's personal maid. And it's gonna be fun. Excuse me, ugh. <gasps> oh. I thought it was gonna be the classic I walked in on him changing. But no, there's nobody in Daniel's room. Not even naked Daniel. Maybe he went to get something to eat. Good, that will make my job easier. I look around the room and then began to clean and he's not gonna like it. I don't know anything about working in hotels, but I do know how to clean. I decide to start by sweeping the floor. No, you gotta like pick up all the stuff off the floor, like the dirty clothes and like the trash and stuff. And the shoes. You gotta do all that first. This room is gross. For a, for a room that's been used for years, it sure is bare, barren. No, it was gorgeous. I thought it said gross. This room is gorgeous. For a room that's been used for years, sure is barren and tidy. I wonder what his job is for him to be living here for so many years. Ugh, do vampires make much money? I quickly finished cleaning the room and reach, and reach my hand towards the door to change, no, towards the bed to change the sheets. He's gonna be in the bed. He's gonna be in the bed. Uh, that's when it happened. Don't move. Mm. Don't move! Duh. Something was held against my neck. I don't know if it was a knife or a fork. Oh, I know who this is. I know who it is. All I knew is that if I moved, I would get hurt. I slowly held my hands up. Why are you here? Because I'm this resident's personal maid? Bethany? Is it the cold object was taken away from my neck? Some uh, Someone grabs my shoulder and turns me around. And there I found... Oh, even better! I thought it was going to be Jack, but this is better. Daniel! Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought it was someone up to no good. No, it's okay. I'm sorry for, you know, just letting myself in. It's kind of rude. 
it's fine. All right. Uh, oh, right. You start as my personal maid today. Yeah, I was just about to change the sheets. I'll help. Aw, oh, thanks. Daniel starts to take the sheets off of the bed. I had no idea he was standing right there. Was, uh, what, what is it with him? What is it with him? Did I scare you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did. No! I'm, I mean, no, I was just a little surprised. Sorry. Uh, he sure is honest, even though I don't... How, even though I don't have a clue what he's thinking sometimes or like all the time because I only met him yesterday Daniel quickly takes off his pillowcase wait that's my job that's my job it was my job until yesterday well do we do it or no? Thank you. That's just, they told me to be nice, so thanks. Oh, well, thanks, that really helps. I want to learn how things are done around here. Someone's diligent. There's no particular way to do it. All you have to do is clean it. Daniel takes a big basket out of the closet and puts the sheet in it. Sounds simple. Yeah, it is. He liked it. He liked my answer. He liked it. He liked it by five moonbeams and two sunlights. Uh, thanks, Daniel. You, you really helped me out. No problem. Okay. 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 Well, pardon me. You like my answer. Anyways, uh, thanks, Daniel. You really helped me out. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Daniel. I just don't know why I'm so burpy right now. Just, no, no problem. I'll do the rest myself. Feel free to take a nap or have some tea or whatever else you like. I mean, I'm sure he's not going to take a nap on a sheet this way. Maybe he has more sheets. Okay. Daniel says so and sits on the sofa. I take a cloth out of the basket I brought with me and start to wipe the windows. But then... Oh no, not another, but then... Ah! I can't reach... Uh, I can't reach the top of the large, the, the huge window at my height. Oh no, I'm too short. Cur curse my shortness. Is there something I can step on? Ah! As I look for something to use as a stool, the cloth is sn snatched from my hand. It's Daniel. He's using the cloth he took from me and, and it's wiping the top of the window! How could he? Hey, wait! That's my job! You can't use the chair over there to step on. You can use the chair over there to step on. Uh, thanks, but uh, I can't let you... Uh, hurry, aren't you going to bring it over? Okay... I go take a chair from the, the the dining table. I drag it surprising. Uh, I uh, I drag the surprisingly heavy chair up to the window, but it is already clean. Oh no, he did the thing that I was supposed to do. Daniel, I'm sorry for making you do all of this, especially since I you're the guest. People should do what they can do. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but right, you will do it next time then. I'll go clean the bathroom. At least I know I can handle the bathroom by myself. Are you sure? Uh, of course I can. Even I can at, at least manage cleaning the bathroom. If you say so. He, he doubts me. 
Oh, exactly what she said. He dealt me. Whatever. I'll show him what I can do in this. I, I, I show him what I can do this time. No. Okay. Oh, I'm jumping sassy now. I head to the bathroom, and five minutes later, ah! <laughs> I scream echoes into Daniel's room. Well, I guess I'm all out of time for this episode, so I guess I'll see you guys next time, and uh, we'll find out why I screamed in the bathroom. So, see you guys then. Bye!